Hi everyone, this is Tanya the Lady Strange. This is day 10 already of 31 Days of Strange, which is things from my random collection, um, things that are my interest that may be of the nature of the macabre, um, horror movies, um, witchcraft, of course, and the occult, as I just mentioned, tarot cards, divination, magic, metal, like heavy metal and music and things of the alternative nature or things that just make me strange or that is just maybe out of the mainstream or could be mainstream however way you look at that if you're new here welcome if you're returning thank you and it's passing through also thank you um it is greatly appreciated so this one's just gonna be a simple one this is gonna be what i call two of my ink anchoring stones what do i mean by that um one i have this on my large altar if you want to check out about a month four to six weeks ago you'll see that i had a video showing my large altar my underworld altar i call it it is dedicated to hecate my patroness i work with hades a lot so he hades has his own side right now hecate has her own side um, the goddess hell from the Nordic tradition is on there and honored. And of course, there's a spot for Lucifer. Oh, I work with just lightly, been touching the edges with, I'm sure he's been there throughout my life. The more and more I study, learn, remember, reflect, um, etc. But in the more I even heal and kind of break through my limitations, which therefore helps me see my truth and empowerment. But yeah, so if you're interested in that thing, my game, my altar, me share my space, you're curious, um, get some ideas. Mine's a bit unconventional. Again, I work with a lot of death and rebirth energies. A lot of, I have a lot of tower moments in my life and that's one of my frenemy cards. However, it brings about big transformation as this death does. Endings and beginnings. Every new beginning comes from another beginnings end, so to say. That's how we learn and grow as humans in the magic and the mundane. No matter what path you are or what your life experience may be or what age you are or how you identify as male or female. It's all the same, um, no matter how much it's observed or not, it affects each of us and each other's relationships with this perspective in this life we walk with. So this anchoring stone, so it brings the energy, the empowerment, and when I'm at my altar, it keeps the energy of the portals between the underworld and the liminal to a more grounded, stable space, so that it's not constantly like an open portal. It also helps to, when I'm at it, to strengthen my energy, to focus my energy, and the connection. And of course, we know I love black, so the darker the stones, the better. I do like others. I have a very diverse collection, but my affinity stones, if you watch any of my previous videos or clips, you'll know that tor black tourmaline and smoky quartz of the darker variety that is, of the smoky quartz, uh, Tibetan quartz, those type of Tibetan smoky, I'm meaning. Um, those types of things are my affinities of my top five. I can't recommend them highly enough. For the other portion of anchoring, besides anchoring in my, um, in my altar space and with the energies and the portals of that and the liminal and the connection, they're also sacred to Hecate, Hades, Hell, etc. So of course it has that dualistic meaning um, of those stones. Now also in that they're very good to wear, to carry with you. Um, if you're drawn to them or you need protective energy or a reminder or assistance to help you keep your boundaries strong, your willpower strong, to keep you with all this ever-changing and challenging times in this life and how the world is reflecting and changing around us and the climate, and I'm not just talking weather climate, I'm talking political climate, financial climate, because things are just fucking going up prices and prices. We all need more things to keep us more anchored and grounded in our own selves and on this realm and to make better decisions and to move forward the emotions and the difficulties that we may be seeing or experiencing and that we're healing 
or we're encountering. Each of us sees everything differently, experiences and feels. Um, and we're ever changing. Hopefully we are ever changing and evolving for the better, for the worse or in between. No one wants to stay stagnant. Um, we do our best just to survive and for ourselves and for our others, but mostly for ourselves, which then outpours others and hopefully is returned and reciprocated. So with that being said, uh, so it helps to keep these stones, help to keep me grounded in my energy. That means because since I'm such an em empath and if you watch many of my videos between divination, my experiences with channeling mediumship, and the paranormal my whole life and being a practitioner and a witch even long before I fully recognized what that was but I've been practicing for over 30 years so that gives an idea of how long I've been studying and embracing my path and how my path ever changes and is crooked and how I'm moving more towards in the open embrace of way embracing way of the left hand path so with that being said since I have such bungee so many other people's energies, I have a problem with boundaries quite often. I've gotten 100% better in many aspects of that. And that's not just with other people, but spirits and how I interact with the magic, the mundane, and the spiritual world. Especially practicing or actually having the ability of the mediumship and the divination and seeing what's beyond the typical scene. So... And then, of course, the ever-changing things of the life, like I mentioned a few moments ago. And, yeah, my own moods, my own difficulties. I'm often um, subject to a lot of... I hold on a lot of anger, which I've been trying to heal, and reactive energy. Recognize and heal and integrate. Not push away, but actually acknowledge. It's... We shouldn't be pushing down and repressing our true feelings and thoughts, but actually exploring them, sitting with them, meditating with them, and reflecting. And Black Tourmaline and Smoke Lee have helped me to do that. And plus, the other thing about that, besides all those things of being an empath and just subject to different cycles of life and relationships and my own traumas and growth and tribulations experience, I work in a call center yeah and have for many years in many different aspects and you know, let's just put it this way dealing with people's money so you can get a guess there just think about that <laughs> for a second reflect so well, that makes tanya sometimes very wrathful angry um very tired drained that's where the whole boundaries come in and trying to deflect that just because you're not face to face with someone doesn't mean when you're an empath or just a typical person having your own issues to deal with, you will get offloaded on and often take that home with you. So these all go in conjunction. That's why I call them anchoring stones. Um, just wanted to show for an example before I wrap this up is look at this lovely combination just for the effect of the combination. I have this on my large altar on Haiti's side. It is a combination of a natural combination of black tourmaline, which you can see, and smoky quartz. I got this at a local um, shop near me that was in a consignment sort of antique shop type of place, and they moved to a different antique shop or sort of consignment shop, um, like sort of type of combination thing. Um, at that point, he had much lovelier, better crystals. I got some of my most working, um, like familiar bracelets from there, and ones that wear um, some of my unique pieces, especially this one. This one is one of my favorites. It is perfect for the combination, the strength, the color, the aesthetic. And it was definitely worth the price. He gave me a price reduction on it, which is, hey, even better. It can save some money. I think I got this like two years ago, give or take, year and a half, two years. Well, whatever the case is, it has a nice home on my altar. And since I pass by my altar constantly throughout every day, it also helps with my energy and looking at that. So it helps me to stay anchored in the magic and the mundane and the liminal and the underworld energies I work with, but also in this day-to-day -day human experience in this vessel that I live in, especially dealing with chronic illness on my part. 
my days can often be dictated by that. And I have several more challenges to deal with. And, of course, I have anxiety, fucking driving anxiety. And my job, I have to drive further than I did at my previous job. Not far, far, unfortunate, but enough to be that, yeah. So anxiety plays a big part in different levels in my day. And that's where that works for in the mundane. It's a great assistance. Not a cure-all, but we have to work with the tools that Mother Nature gives us and that we're dealt with and be resourceful. So I hope you found this interesting. Now, if you are a practitioner, a healer, or just work with crystals, and you have any that you find that help anchor you in just every day-to-day -day life, in the magic, the mundane, the in-between, or your spiritual practice, or when you work with others, um, comment below. If you like this, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so far for joining me on this journey of 31 Strange, and blessed be.